Why is Connecticut often called the nutmeg state? What is a nutmeg anyway? Let's find out. Hi everyone, I'm Kat, the Youth and Family Programs Manager at the Connecticut Historical Society. Welcome to another episode of Objects Tell Stories. Today, we are going to explore the fascinating story behind the Connecticut nickname, the Nutmeg State. Now, is nutmeg actually a nut? No, so what is it? Hmm. That's right, it's a spice. And do you know where nutmeg is grown? Hmm. That's right, the Spice Islands. So if it's not grown in Connecticut, then why would Connecticut be known as the nutmeg state? Let's investigate and find out. This is a photo of someone called a Yankee peddler. Based on what you see in this image, what do you think Yankee peddlers did? Hmm. That's right. Long ago, peddlers traveled around selling goods to people. One of the goods they used to sell was nutmeg. Because nutmeg was not grown in Connecticut, it was really expensive. So Yankee peddlers sometimes carved a fake nutmeg out of wood and sold it to customers pretending it was real. Look closely at the nutmegs you see here. One of these nutmegs is real and one is made of wood. Can you tell which one is fake? Were you able to spot the fake? It's really hard to tell the difference. As a result, the name nutmegger originally referred to someone that has tricked you. Now, it just means someone from Connecticut. Despite this unfortunate history, the nutmeg is still popular in Connecticut. It has become a symbol for our state and is featured on a variety of items along with our nickname, the nutmeg state. Nutmeg is also still widely used for cooking. Now, my friend Jen from the CHS is going to show us how we can use nutmeg to make baked apples to enjoy with our families. This recipe can be found on the CHS website. To start with the apples, <laughs> that's good. I'll get the rest. Go ahead and add the OJ and syrup. Then it's a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's good. Now, normally nutmeg comes like this from the store, already grated. But this is what a nutmeg actually looks like. And we can grate it ourselves. So I think that's what we'll do today. So it's a spice similar to cinnamon. Sweet smelling. And so we're just grating. You can grate a little bit more. Just be careful, don't get your hands. All right, well our apple dessert is ready. So I think we should put it over ice cream. Let's see. What do you think? Very good. Very good? I think this might be good on pancakes even. What do you think? No? Yeah. Well, enjoy. Now it's your turn. Do you have a favorite nutmeg recipe? Connect with us on social media and share it with us. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Objects Tell Stories, and I'll see you next week for a new episode of Cat's Creative Corner. Bye!